Hey guys, what is up? And today I'm going to be showing you guys a simple but useful recycler view from Android Studios called the Staggered View. And as you guys can see, it looks pretty nice when you load it up with images. So um, yeah, let's get started. So first you want to start a new Android Studios project, uh, an empty activity. And name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Staggered, Staggered View. Okay. Okay, once this loads up here, okay, Gradle build running. Yeah, there we go. Once this loads up, uh, first we would want to make our own type of Java class called Photos. Now, why I want to make my own Java class called Photos is because I want to have objects for my photos right so as you guys can see i'm gonna here make a private uh integer variable for my image resources and each object of my photos is gonna have this image resources so that's why i'm gonna do that and let's insert the constructor and the getter and send a setter and there we are now i want to make another java class for my um stagger view adapter so let's name it stagger view adapter okay and here we are going to extend the recycle view adapter but i have not added the dependency the recycle view so an easy easy way to add the dependency without accessing your gradle scripts is by opening resource layout uh, activity main and clicking this button right here so they should add in the dependency recycle view. So after uh, it is added into your Gradle, you can go back into your adapter and you can extend recycle view dot adapter. And here I'm going to make a nested class called my own view holder. So this is going to be my own custom view holder. And this is going to extend recycler view dot view holder. Now creating the car, yeah. And this is going to be of the type of my custom view holder. So stagger view holder dot this. And here we can click implement methods. There we are. Okay, so first I'm going to have a static, um, first I'm going to have, and let's say I need an array list, a list of photos called my photos. So this is going to be an array list of all of my photos, which I will be getting it from a constructor of this class so here as you can see I'm gonna be getting it from here and I need context as well so I'm gonna write context over here and I'll get it from my constructor as well this dot and context Yeah, so there we are. So what's happening right here really is I have declared an array list uh, called my photos of the type photos which we've already made over here. So what's the uh, so each element of the array list will have one photo itself, and uh, this is for the context of your application. And uh, here we we'd want to fill in um, my photos dot size. So there's that and here we would want yeah so before we um, get started with the view I mean uh, on create view of the holder we would want to make how the each recycle view is gonna look like right so we're gonna make another layout over here and I'm just gonna call it a photo recycler Okay. 
So coming to this layout right here, we'd want to make this constraint because it's more easier. And layout with match parent and I would want to make my layout height as wrap content. Okay. So here I'm just like if, as we can see from the app right here, I just want to have each recycle view as one photo, right? So just I'm just going to drag and drop an image view. And let this be anything, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to click on this. And yeah, we'll just keep it at the edge of the screen. And I'll say the layout height as match parent. The layout height can be um, wrap content, that's fine. And yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so this is a recycle of uh, element uh, view I made. You can think of it as element. So each time number of photos gets added, this view will be added on top of that. So each like this is one element, which is this is one view. This is another view. This is another view and so on. Right. Okay. So here I'm going to create a view where I can, I'm going to inflate it. Yeah, I'm going to inflate it with this layout dot photo recycler comma parent and and this should be false right here attached to the root should be false so here I'm going to return here I'm going to return my custom view there we are oops method call expected what oh yeah sorry insert yeah there we are I'm gonna return a view of my custom view okay so here uh, on bind view holder you guys can do uh, whatever you want like if you click on the photo uh, there's a lot of uh, implementations you guys can do on by on bind but one thing we're gonna do over here is we're gonna load the image on on bind right so we're gonna bind the view with the image that we have so here I'm gonna first I have to establish it in my view holder so image no, image equals to item view dot find view ID now what was the ID the ID was image view right so r dot ID dot image view so I this in this is my view my view is one image which is inflated from this layout okay now if I want to bind it, right, if I want to bind it, I got to do holder dot image dot set image resource from um, uh, the from my array list, array list. So I'll have multiple photos in my array list. So I'll do my photos dot get get. So which uh, position of the recycler view I got to uh, I got to take the position from here. And then I gotta get the image resource. So this should return me back the image resource of my image. So this will set it, if that makes any sense. And uh, looks like my adapter is all set here. Yeah. So now we can go into our on create our activity. Now first I'm gonna load up my images, right? So I'm going to make an array list again of photos, my photos equals to new array list. Okay. And I'm going to add it up. 
I'm gonna add all my photos here. R dot oh yeah so I gotta add uh, photos to my drawable so I've got a bunch of sample photos right here and I've gotta go to my drawable here and then paste it into your drawable so I'm just gonna load up a bunch of images so for example and And uh, I'm just loading this up. Okay, so after your array, array list is loaded, so last thing here to do is um, go to your activity main XML and drag and drop your recycle view. So after, uh, make sure your layout width is match parent and your layout height is as well match parent. So after that's taken care of, um, uh, I don't want this. I don't want this to be in my constraint layout. So I'm gonna have this in linear layout. And yeah, um, after that's done, uh, I'm going to assign it an ID. So I'm just going to call it uh, Recycler View. Okay, so... We're almost there. So after that, we're gonna have recycle. We're gonna have an ob object recycle view where r dot id dot. Yeah, we're gonna assign it to RC, and I'm gonna set RC. So I'm gonna set the layout manager as new um staggered grid layout manager uh, first parameter is going to be how much um, columns you want so I want two columns and the second parameter is going to be whether we want it with in vertical format or horizontal format so I'm going to write uh, I want it in one second I want it in the vertical format okay now after that I'm going to set the adapter as the adapter we created right here staggered view adapter so staggered um okay lowercase so staggered view adapter and i'm going to pass in the parameters the first the context so first this and then the adapter which is my photos and that's pretty much it so let's run this so this is an old app so I can just get rid of this now as you can see we have a slight problem over here the images are getting are coming in staggered view of course but then they are spread out very um, very far. So the quick fix for this is um, go to your photos recycler XML and oh yes, we gotta do Android adjust view bounce is true. So once you click play on that, I mean, once you install that, and as you can see here, it's coming in a staggered view. Uh, another tip 
or another way to improve the UI is getting rid of the tab view so let's do that um, styles and get rid of the action bar so put no action bar over here and as you can see we got our staggered view recycler but then here uh, to make it more you know to make the UI more better we can add a padding over here so let's do that let's put it 3d There we are. 